Hi, hello, and welcome back to another Skyblock video. My name is Asaz, and today we will be talking about all of the different secrets that you can find inside these Dwarven Caverns from the new Dwarven Caverns update. And after you finish watching this video, I do have a couple other videos about the Dwarven Mines. I have one about the Forge and all about the Forge, and I also have one all about how to do commissions. So if you want to go check those out, then they will be in the description box down below. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first secret that we're going to talk about has to do with this power crystal that I have here in front of me. So just navigate your way over to it. It's also right next to the Great Ice Bridge with the mist below. And if you just go over to near it, at the coordinates negative 25, 198, 41, you will see that there is a small cave here, and there's a room. So in this room, there's three people, and if you talk to one, uh, and then say, yes, I do want to join the Star Cult, then you will get the Fallen Star Helmet. Then if you come back seven days later, you get three stacks of Starfall, which is pretty good. So the next secret is is one that people already know about for the most part, but I figure I include because it is still a secret. If you talk to all seven of these kings when they are actually in the king chair, you will get a king talisman, which gives plus one mining speed when held, and a plus one percent commission. Basically, it's just a talisman for the reforge. And the kings switch every 20 minutes or every one skyblock day, so you just have to wait until all, all of seven of them rotate around, and uh, then you will get this secret. Now, if you head over from the king and uh, through this gateway up these stairs and into the far little entrance here, you will come into this room and there will be a person right here. You talk to them a whole bunch, you just have to keep on clicking them. Yes, you keep on clicking them. Eventually, they'll teleport up here and then eventually they will turn into a cow and then eventually they will turn into a sheep and then eventually they will have a no name you keep on clicking them a little bit more past that and you will get the cake which is a special item and then there is also a 5000 counter after the counter of 10 uh this is not worth going to because at the end you literally get nothing it's like there's literally nothing at the end of that 5,000, so please don't do it. Not like there's not even an achievement. And yeah, that's it for the third secret. The next, mm, you could call it a secret, it's more of a puzzle, is at the puzzler. So if we go opposite and follow the red carpet to the puzzler, you can see that he gives you this little arrows thing. Now what you do is you face toward the gate here and you look at what he says. So for me it says two up, one down, one up. So starting at the glowstone, one, two, one down, and then one up again. And then left and four ups and then right. So I can just go up for one, two, three, four, and then you mine the block that there is and you get 1000 mithril powder and you can do this every single day as you can see it says come back tomorrow so just an easy way to get an additional 1000 mithril powder and that's it for the fourth one the next one is another easy way to get 1000 mithril powder so if you head over to the entrance here and go up onto this scaffolding or whatever you would like to call it up here you will see fetcher so Fetcher, he needs stuff to fetch you for you. Now this, I already did mine for today, but basically he asks you for a thing and an amount. And oh look, there's a titanium. Well, don't mind if I do. He asks you for a certain item and a certain amount of that item. And if you give it to him, then you will get 1000 mithril powder. So mine today was just 20 mithril. So literally you could just exchange 20 mithril and you would get 1,000 mithril powder, which is like a really good deal. Next up is another very, very profitable, you 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 could call it a quest, is in this little dwarven uh, comp, uh, apartment building here. Uh, if, we, if you just go through this window right here, you can see we have a bed knob. 
Now, I've already done this quest, but basically what he, he does is you talk to him on three separate days. So, you could talk to him on late summer 8th, late summer 9th, and late summer 10th. And then on the 10th day, he'll talk about a treasure next to a dwarf statue. Now, the treasure is if you follow my pathing here for a moment and go down this path and then we get to this gigantic staircase this is gigantic dwarf statue is talking about and if you mine this block right here there will be a chest underneath it you can open it there is some enchanted titanium there that's probably the best thing is also some enchanted mithril it's definitely worth doing it's like a few couple enchanted titanium and the seventh Little secret here is with at this pub, I guess you could call it. Now, all these people, they just say burp. And the first time you do it, if you also say burp, then you will get a dwarven keg. Yes, d dwarven tankard. So the first time you do it, you get a dwarven tankard. So you talk to all four of them, you say burp, and you get a dwarven tankard. I mean, it's just a decoration item, but, but you know, secrets. And the final secret that I know of is this thing called a uh, mysterious monolith. So it's basically a dragon egg, and I've seen it appear in a couple of different places. And if you click on it, you get like 75 mithril powder, so you know, not, not too much, but it's something. And I believe it comes in set positions because I've seen it on this little, I don't know what you would call it, overpass cave thing this top bit here twice and i've seen it over on there three on that pillar three times so it's a set position i believe so it's just a little another little secret and uh yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for this video if you liked what you saw or would like to see more in the future then please consider subscribing and maybe even leaving a like on the video and with that out of the way i have nothing more to say See ya.